take one glass of dal in a cooker to this we are going to add quarter teaspoon turmeric powder two and a half glass of water to cook the dal meanwhile the dal is being cooked we are going to prepare the masala now for the masala you will need 2 tablespoon coriander powder One teaspoon chili powder, quarter teaspoon hing, quarter teaspoon turmeric powder, and two tablespoon of sambar powder. Now this sambar powder we have prepared it at home. So in case you don't have a homemade sambar powder, you can always use any sambar powder available in the market. Now let's see the vegetables that you're going to use for sambar. I've used six benjol which I cut them into half. Then four medium sized on a tomato. Then I have taken small onion, uh, around 20 to 30 of them. And for spice, I have taken 3 green chilli slit and 2 red chillies. To this, I am going to add the masala powder that we measured and kept. Then I am adding 3 tablespoon of tamarind paste, thick tamarind paste. One teaspoon salt. Then I am adding enough water to boil the vegetables. Mix all the masala well. To this I am going to add a little coriander leaf and curry leaf. And let's place this on the stove on a medium high flame. To this I am going to add 2 tablespoon oil. Mix this well. Once you are done mixing it evenly, keep it on a medium high flame for the vegetables to boil. Now once your curry has started to boil, you can now check if your vegetables have uh, cooked well, your tomato and brinjal. Now once you know that this is done, you can add the cooked dal into the curry. Keeping the flame on a medium high, you are going to add the dal into this and give it a good mix. Now once this is done, we can now move on to tharka. In another pan, I have taken 2 tablespoon of oil. Once the oil is hot, add 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds. Let it splutter and I am adding half teaspoon methi seeds. Then I am adding garlic, crushed garlic, 5 to 6 of them. Then half a teaspoon hing. 
please ensure that you don't burn the items that are there in the pan. Next, I'm adding curry leaves. One stem of curry leaves. Mix it well. Once the aroma has come, you can now add this to your sambar and your sambar is ready.